down on me. But I feel all wrapped up in the bosom of Allah. I know that Allah loves me. And I'm just, I'm just one of the little baby students in the nation of Islam, trying to do no, that, my prayers. Um, where? Where? Trying to fast. Sorry, sorry. Where? Trying to pay Here. the poor rate. Oh, I'm going to go speak to them. Trying to yeah, be man. a decent human being. So I thank you. Thank you for allowing us these few moments to share some words with you. It is a warning and it's good news at the same time. If you will submit your will to do the will of God, if you would do unto other human beings as you would have done unto yourself, if you would be decent, if you would be moral, upright, kind, Allah will bless you and we can extricate ourselves from this destructive process that is in play now. And so, thank you. May Allah bless you. As I greet you, as I found you in the greeting words of peace. Assalam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Allahu Akbar. 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 Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. All praise is due to Allah. Now, we will take questions. But before we do so, I gotta give you the ground rules. If you came out here today to lecture me, you're standing in the wrong place. If you came out here today to ask a question, and if it be the will of Allah, I will try to the best of my ability to answer your question, you're standing in the right place. If you think it's going to be a back and forth argument, you're making a terrible mistake. I will ignore you like you were a leaf on the ground. Understand me. I'm making it very clear. If you don't want to be here, if you think we're a bunch of idiots and fools and non-Muslims and we're practicing shirk and we're just a bunch of idiots, the intelligent thing for you to do is to go where the wise people are. You make yourself look a fool to come among fools and waste your valuable time. Does that make sense? Perfect. And so with that, I will take the first question. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, thank you. I've, I've listened to you for about a good 25 minutes. There's a lot of facts that you speak. Yes, sir. Um, There's a lot of what? A lot of facts yes, sir. that you speak. I appreciate that um, when it comes to the war between the West and the Russia. Uh, but that's not really my concern. Uh, I'm a Muslim myself. Uh, I've come to Islam 10 years ago. I just wanted to ask you a question. Can you speak up a bit, please? Yeah, if you can come closer, please, yeah? Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, I want to know how you guys, the Nation of Islam, do not contradict Surah Ikhlas. Because Surah Ikhlas is very clear. It, is that, it says that Allah is one. He is self-sufficient. He does not beget, nor is he begotten, and there is nothing like unto him. So do you not realize that you are sharing an attribute of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when it comes to his asma wa sifat, with Elijah, Muhammad, whoever it is for that matter, where you are claiming, because you're praising Allah, which is good. I'm, I, was, I was saying the same thing when you were saying takbir, I was saying Allahu Akbar. But when it comes to Elijah, Muhammad, you guys claim to be a Muslim when you're going to, when you are contradicting the very foundation of Islam, which we come and preach to the Christians that God is not a man, not a white man or a black man. So can you please just answer my question? You said you don't want to have it that understandable, but can you please just tell me, how do you reconcile both? I, I, I understand your question, and it's a beautiful question, and I thank you very much for the spirit in which you asked that question. But I will say this, when we ask a question, we should be intelligent enough to listen to the answer. We should never ask a question with a preconceived notion or we believe that we know already in that, oh, you're just a bunch of fools, so now you're gonna mock and, and you're gonna wanna jump in. Let me say it like this to you. We agree with Surah Ikhlas. Say that Allah is one God, he's all independent, he begets not, nor is he begotten, and there is none comparable unto him. We agree 100%. Okay. The creator of the heavens and the earth, the originator, he was not begotten. 
He is self-created. He creates everything. So he's neither begotten nor does he beget. You, you, we agree. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1,400 years ago, went into a cave. And while in that cave, he heard a voice saying, Ikra, read in the name of thy Lord. The prophet said he looked and in all four corners he saw a man. Are we agreed? Mm -hmm. He saw a man. That man we call Jibreel or the angel Gabriel. The prophet Muhammad one day is walking with the companions. A man comes to him dressed in white. The man stops him and asks him questions about the faith of Islam. The prophet answers the questions. The man walks away. The prophet turns to the companions. Do you know who that was? They said, no. He said, that's Jibreel. Amen. Jibreel is the one who through him, Almighty God Allah revealed the Holy Quran. Make sense? Yep. Okay. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he never said, I am the prophet of Jibreel. Okay. I am the prophet of Allah. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was an unlearned man. Couldn't read, couldn't write. Looked down upon by many. There were people who knew him when he was a child growing up. I think they call it al because he was a beautiful human being. But nonetheless, he was not somebody who was regarded highly in the society. In fact, when he married Khadija, it was Khadija who basically paid his way because he had not the resources and that kind of money. So this is not a man that was, you know, people are looking up to him. In fact, when he said, I am the messenger of Allah, he was persecuted. I want you to think about some of your attitudes today. See, because they accused the prophet of blaspheme because they were worshiping stones and bricks and snakes and milk in the Kaaba, all manner of idols. But the prophet came and said, as a man, I am the messenger of Allah. But he's a lowly man, unlearned man. Yeah. Can you get a wide view from there? See, we've got to understand, man. This is how Allah works. Who is Musa? Why is Moses mentioned more in the Holy Quran than any of the prophets, even the prophet Muhammad himself? Moses said he heard the voice of Allah speaking to him through a burning bush. Moses speaks to Allah. Allah speaks to Moses. Moses is nervous, he's scared. He says, who shall I say sent me? He says, tell him, tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. In other words, I exist, I am real. Look, man, I say it to you like this. You gotta listen very carefully to the language of the nation of Islam. We believe, now I want you to imagine for a second that you are ignorant, that you don't know nothing. Maybe you're sitting over there, you got a, 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 a tin of tenants, you're spaced out and, and brother Leo comes to you, that's me, I'm brother Leo, I come to you and I say, my brother, how are you? You know, what's happening, man? You say, man, I'm down, or I haven't got nothing, whatever. And I speak to you for a few hours about the beauty and the majesty and the love of God. And you become inspired from that little talk and you get up and you go and you do your shahada and you become a beautiful Muslim and your life changes. Whether you understand this or not, Allah came to you in the person of Leo Muhammad. Not that I am Allah. Allah uses human beings. Okay. Allah don't do magic. He don't do spooks. Yes, okay. He comes to men and women through men and women. In the Holy Quran, Allah said, had you been an angel, I would have sent you an angel. Okay. But because you're a man, the prophet went about in the marketplace eating food like everybody else. He got sick like everybody else. At the Battle of Badal, he got wounded like everybody else. 
Allah didn't do magic and save him. Okay. When they were hunting him, the, the Quraysh trying to kill him, and he went into that little cave and the spider made the web. It, it was only, that was Allah, but, but not magic. Mm. The Prophet was in danger of dying. The companions had to flee to Ethiopia, to the black people in Africa, to, for asylum when they wanted to kill them. Teach, brother, teach. This is how Allah works. So all I'm saying to you, we understand the Muslims when they get angry with us because they believe that we're practicing shirk. I can assure you we're not doing that. We know that Allah is incomparable. But guess what? Guess what? Did you know that there's not another human being on this planet with your fingerprint? Yeah. Do you understand that there's not another human being on this planet with the same dimensions of your retina? Yeah. Or anything to do with you? Do you know that one side of your face is completely different to the other? Oh yes, sir. That means that you are unique. Okay. Incomparable. Hmm. But so, the Muslims, we take it to such an extreme hmm. where Allah cannot be comprehended. If you can't comprehend him, hmm. you can't worship that which you cannot comprehend. Okay. No, you can't. Look, look, okay. believe me. It's such a theory. The reason why so many of us are in trouble today, man, is because we're bowing down and we're praying to nothing. We don't believe that Allah has substance, has power. Look at what this white man's got. Have you seen his weapons? Okay. What if I told you hmm. that all my, look, how can I explain this to you? See this? Got some electricity in it, right? Hmm. There's no scientist on the planet that can show you the origin of electricity. Okay. That's why sometimes you can touch something and you get a little spark. Yeah. Because it's all around. It's awesome. It's, it's one of the most mysterious powers yeah. in the universe. You and I are run on electricity. Yeah. This brain is electric. It's awesome. It's firing right now. Neurons and neutrons. It's, it's phenomenal. Okay. I've got electric in me. This has got electric in it. This is not electricity or the origin or the source of electricity. Okay. Allah puts himself wherever he pleases. He can go into a man. That's shirk. No, it's not shirk. This is what I'm saying to you. Look, look, look. Do you believe that the earth is divine? No. You don't? No. Well, Allah says it. Where? It's divine. Where? Oh, yes, sir. Where? Where? Sir, look, it is creation. Where? Everything that Allah, everything of Allah's Where? creation is divine. What's your name, brother Leo? Leo, Leo Muhammad, yes sir. Yeah, but brother Leo Muhammad, just, just to touch up. Hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Let me, let me just finish the point. Okay. Sorry. I don't want to go too far because me personally, I think I've made my point. I, I would just say to you, study. See that instruction to the prophet Ikra, it wasn't just to the prophet. Of course. It's to all of us. As many of us today, we walk with the Holy Quran. The book says they put the book behind their backs. Yes. And we listen to the Sheikh, we listen to the Mullahs, we listen to the so-called scholars, and we are left absolutely messed up. I'm saying, dear sir, dear brother, go and study for yourself and understand that it is not sure to understand that Allah is the influence of men and women. It's fine. Influ Allah influence is, is the fine. power. When I come out here, I don't come in here with no spook God. My God walks not just by my side, in me, around me. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. You know, you know. But, but it's, uh, that's the difference. See, look. But that's what's That's what we disagree. That's what I'm saying. So this is where we have to disagree. But, 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 this is the point. This is what we believe. But where's your evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah? No, 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 I understand. No, no, because you need to bring evidence because, no, 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 that's, because that's, 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 I, I, I agree with you, sorry, brother. You know what Allah says in the Quran? When you threw, it wasn't you that threw, it was me. That's right. I understand. That's right. I understand the influence. I understand no, it's human no, shayateen. No, 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 but, but, you you're say, that, but you're but you're saying Allah is within no, us. No, 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 but if you understand that, hmm. see, the, the, the Christ, hmm. the Christ, yeah. he causes lame people to walk. He causes dumb people to speak. He causes the blind to see by Allah's permission. Good. Right. Agree. Not, Agree. Yeah, but not spooks. No, I know. Agree. Allah is moving that man. Allah is in control of that man. Yes. Thank but you. Allah is not that man. 
No, Allah is in that man. No, that's shirk. No, but that's what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to that's you. That's where we differ. Electricity is in here, but electricity remains everywhere. But Allah is not electricity. No, no, no. Allah is, is electricity. No, he's not. He created electricity. I'm saying to you. Look, you see, this is what I'm saying to you. You know, you, you want to make Allah nothing. No. We're, no, no, that's what you're doing. We're saying that Allah is everything. That's no, the difference. We, we say Allah your is some. Allah, your we Allah, say Allah is unique. Is nothing. How? Our Allah is everything. But brother Leo, how? Yes, sir. No, but one second, one second. Before yes, we go sir. to that, yes, one sir. second. But brother, look, you, you, yes, you, you, didn't yes, my, you didn't answer my question. No. One second, brother. You didn't answer my question. No, you're not. You didn't answer my question. No, but brother, you didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. Yes, sir. The, the, no, but this is very, you didn't answer my question. I said Surah Ikhlas. How does that contradict? One second, brother. How does that contradict? That, how does that co co coexist with that? He didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. No, no, this is unbelievable. This is the reason why, guys, this is the reason why the mushrikeen fell into shirk. Because he's saying we need substance. We have to see Allah. We know the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said anybody that doesn't see Allah and believe in Him will enter Jannah. The whole point is what we don't fall into what the mushrikeen fell into by thinking we need something that we can see. That is shirk. And this brother, with all due respect, this is the reason why when it comes to the issue of takfir, we're very careful because I'm not qualified to say someone you're a kafir. But when somebody comes and says Allah is in me or Elijah Muhammad is Allah, this is shirk. You are not a Muslim. I invite these brothers to the true Tawheed of Islam and I invite you as well to Islam, yeah? This is not Islam. We need to make it very clear, brothers and sisters, what these brothers are on, may Allah guide them and might me, this is not Islam. God is not a man. God is not a man. He's not electric. He's not inside us. He's not Elijah Muhammad. He's none of these people. So when they come here with the name of it says in the name of Allah, they've got uh, the Quran there. This is not Islam. So we call these brothers from Nation of Islam back to back to the true Islam. Tawheed is one. Why do you think we argue with the Christians? We argue with Christians because we're telling them God is not a white man. God is not a white man. They're saying God is a black man. This is shirk. This is shirk. And that's why we argue with Christians like himself and tell them. So it's very funny that when we're trying to engage with them, I ask the simple question. Guys, let me ask a simple question. How do you get Surah Ikhlas and say Elijah Muhammad is Allah? Simple question. Both simple. One plus one is two. You're saying one plus one is 725. So all I'm saying to the brother, he doesn't want to engage. I'm going to wait for him to you finish his conversation and I'm going to try to talk to him again because did he answer my question? No. I'm going to wait. I don't want to be respectful. I'm going to wait and I'm going to ask him the question again. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and ask my question. Yes, and that's real. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't condemn That's my problem. That's what I'm saying. They believe Elijah Muhammad is incarnate Allah. You know, and this is what the mushrikeen said because they're saying Allah has to be substance yana. we have to see, touch Brother, calm down, so the truth hurts me, what are you saying? Well man, shut up man that what you're saying Don't get too gassed Don't get too gassed, don't get too gassed, don't get too gassed. To Relax yourself we don't really believe I'm here to speak his corner Miraculous speak things corner. like magic, <laughs> things of that nature Shh. Be quiet Shut up man, be quiet like, you're making more noise than me. God Allah can do anything. He, he can do anything. He anything. Can he become a tree? He can, Allah. Can, can he become a tree? He can make anything happen. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. And so, brother Leo, come to Islam. To that. Come know, to Islam, brother Leo. I know nothing of what happened. Come back to Islam. Come back to the true Islam. Like Malcolm X did, by the way, which were, which were assassinated by their group. The nation of Islam executed Malcolm X because Malcolm X went to Hajj and he saw black and white people. And he said, this is not the Islam that I follow. So I this is black nationalism black supremacy. Yes, black sir. nationalism supremacy. Come to the true Islam. Just before, just before you ask a question. I'm not going to talk. I'm going to let him finish. I'm going to try to speak Just understand this though. Understand this, yeah? What these guys do, they can't get an audience. Wait, wait. They, they, nobody listens to them. So they've got to come. Alhamdulillah. They've got to come where people are. Alhamdulillah. No problem. And then they've got to try to no problem. get everybody to focus on them. No problem. Yes. Focus on me. It's like yes. a leech. It's focus. Like, focus like on the heart. It's, yes. It's actually pathetic. No, no. And sad. I asked you a question, but that's, brother. That's the, that's the reality. You couldn't answer my question. They've got to come. You where, didn't answer my question. They've got to come where the action is. 
to try and get some action. No, no, there's no action over there. Yes, sir. Um, I'm from Glasgow. Glasgow? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. You probably heard of some million times already, but yes, sir. I'm a big. Uh... It, it, I always find it amazing when I see like an Asian man or a black man with a with a Scottish accent. Well, well it's different for us when we come down here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. English accents. Yes, sir. Shut up, you devil. But you, <laughs> but you, you probably heard of some million times before, but how do you think about Malcolm X now? Because obviously you made a so how do you feel about this? So in 2023. Yes. So the question from the gentleman to my right here is how do we feel about Brother Malcolm X some 20 plus years on? Because obviously Malcolm left the nation when he did. Came a well, Muslim. From our perspective, we love Brother Malcolm. That's our brother. He was made in the nation of Islam. There's a lot of hypocrites around today who want to claim Brother Malcolm. But the Malcolm they're claiming is the Malcolm who was out of the nation for one year. But Malcolm was in the nation for 12 years when he did all of his tremendous work. So what? Now, Malcolm, you know, you should know that there was a big lie that was told that the members of the nation of Islam murdered Malcolm. But if you're following what's going on in the news today, you will know that those men have now been completely exonerated and that that was a conspiracy by the United States government, the FBI, the CIA, and New York police finest. This is the reality. The Nation of Islam had nothing to do with the murder of Brother Malcolm. But what the enemy does, and his mode of operation never changes, is it's called divide and rule. If you go back and you look at Cointel Pro, which is the counterintelligence program of J. Edgar Hoover, the transvestite head of the FBI. He Black was, he, he, he was LGBTQ people. plus yeah. before they started. But anyway, J. Edgar Hoover said, we must stop the rise of a black messiah. When you look at the documents, the, the, through the Freedom of Information Act, all of the papers have now been released. And you can see where the United States government <coughs> and the FBI, they plan to try to separate Brother Malcolm from his leader and teacher, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So who and in the him? end, in the end, they succeeded. They okay, split the problem Brother is bigger Malcolm than that. They committed shit. From the messenger, and then all hell broke loose. And then what they were able to do was to kill Malcolm. The idea was to kill Malcolm, blame the nation, and then we would go to war with ourselves, implode, and that would be the end of the nation of Islam. They failed. The nation is here. We love Brother Malcolm. We love Elijah Muhammad more. Thank you for your question. Yes, sir. You said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is everything. Can Allah be that tree? He created the tree. You Can he be the he tree? He everything. Can he no, be no, no. the tree? He created the tree. Thank you. He created, he created the, tree. the tree. That means so, he's not so the tree. So hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Allah is not against trees. Allah doesn't look down on trees. But is he the tree? Is he the tree? Allah created the tree. In other words, he loves the tree. Good. The okay. tree, Let me one second, the tree one second, one second. is a part okay. of his creation. Good. The way you're talking is if the tree is some separate and distinct thing that Allah, you know, discards. He loves his creation. Okay. Allah created the horse. Not the disbelievers. He created the dog. He loves all of the creatures. Except the disbelievers. Except the the, the rebellious devil. Yes. Yes, Wait, question. Let me continue. No, you didn't answer. He said, is, can it be a tree? Continue. You, you see, you know why? You know why? Because if he says, yeah, then that's the point. Again, you're I'm not answering us. You're not. Brother, I'm going to let you finish. I'm, I won't I'm have a dialogue with you. Allah is not a tree. Allah is a man. There you go. Can you can, can check this out? I, I wouldn't be like, Allah is not a tree, but he's a man. What's the difference? Why? 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 Why not tree, but man? Why not tree, but man? Why not tree, but man? Thank you. Like Allah says in the Quran, when truth comes, falsehood perishes. I'm asking a simple question. Allah cannot be a tree, I would be but he can be a man. What's the difference between you and Christians? One is a white man, one is a black God. The question from the gentleman here with the grey top, he says, who was Elijah Muhammad? The most honorable Elijah Muhammad, we believe, 
He said Dajjal. He said Dajjal. We believe. He said Dajjal. Yes. The prophet said. He said Dajjal. Of the scriptures of the Bible and the Holy Quran. We believe that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is that man that the whole world talks about, but nobody actually believes will make himself manifest. Yes. We believe that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is the Christ. He's Dajjal. The Christ. Uqsum Billah he's Dajjal. The Prophet said 30 Dajjal, Dajjal come, he's one of them. Elijah Muhammad he's Dajjal. He's the son of man written of he's in Dajjal. the Bible. He's Dajjal. We believe that he is the fulfillment of that one who Almighty God Allah empowers to crush the wicked. We believe that this man who was formerly enslaved or a slave is the first begotten of those who slept. This is the language of the Bible. Well, that is not Islam. We believe that he well, is Allah the first Islam. begotten of the dead. This is not Islam. We believe that this man was raised from a spiritually dead condition which is the condition that most of us as black people who were enslaved found ourselves in. And we believe that this man is the man that the world talks about, but it's just talk. And nobody actually expects to see the manifestation of Christ. Dajjal. Jesus, the Christ. So he's Jesus. One who has the power to crush wicked people. And when Christ manifests, next to him is Mahdi. We believe that this is the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and Master Farad Muhammad, who we believe came to us to bring us back no Islam. into Islam. No Islam. Because we were Muslim. He, See, we're not he took you from kufr to kufr. We're from disbelief Muslims to disbelief. Because we were converted by some sheikh. This from disbelief to disbelief. We are Muslims no, you're not. by nature. No, you're not. Our very nature no, you're not, is Islam. Wallahi, this is not Islam. That's who we are from Wallahi, this is not Islam, brother. That's our love. Please come to the true Islam, brother. Please. But what the enemy did Please. was when he destroyed us I'm not your enemy. human reality, he beat Islam out of us. And now one comes to return us back to our nature. So we don't yes. convert to Islam, we revert back to ourselves. Thank you. Where, where are you now? But that's who we believe the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. We believe him to be the Christ. Yes, sir. I have a question. If so, if you believe all this about Elijah Muhammad, so why was he never mentioned by the Prophet in the Hadith? And why was he never mentioned in the Quran or anything like that? But how do you know? Exactly. He was, Quran. he was. No, no. He was, he was mentioned. In, the Prophet said he's a Dajjal. In, in the, uh, in there's 30 Dajjals coming, he was mentioned. In the Holy Quran. He is mentioned. In the he Holy is. Quran. Yes. Almighty yes, the Prophet said, said, I think he said 30 Dajjals will come. He's one of them, he was mentioned. Musalim al Khadab, he's one, he's a Dajjal, he's another so, Dajjal. So you can make the assumption that he is not in the book, but according to our understanding, See again, you know, the way many of you? us uh, no, believe uh, it. Uh, religion no, no, is it. that we're constantly looking back 1,400 years ago. But Allah doesn't sleep. Understand this. And Islam... But Elijah Muhammad slept. Islam... Allah doesn't sleep, but Elijah Muhammad slept. You're not interested in the answer, so we leave your silly question. We go to somebody who's interested. Wallahi, yes, this is shirk. Wallahi, this is shirk. I have a question if... Uh, I know, I couldn't answer it. If, uh, You're so clever, I couldn't answer your question. Go ahead. And the Quran, it says Muhammad وسلم, is the last messenger of Allah. So, how do you believe that he is another messenger? No, he no says, they believe he's Allah. He says, You don't believe he's a messenger. Excuse me. Are you, did you, you asked a question. Yes. Are you interested in the answer? Yes. Okay. So, he says he is the last prophet. Prophet. There are many messengers. Many mess uh, Today, I'm giving you a message from Allah, whether you accept it or not. I am today acting in the capacity okay. of a messenger. Every Muslim should be a messenger of Allah. I'm trying Unfortunately, to. Unfortunately, we're so busy fighting among ourselves that we got no message to share with anybody. Yes, Why sir. Why am I a white devil? Shut up, you devil. Go ahead. <laughs> Ask, your question. Ask your question. So who should I follow? Elijah Muhammad or Prophet Muhammad? I, I would advise You're not a white devil. We don't believe him, by the way. I, we, we don't believe him, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. You question, You're not. This is not Islam. It's not Islam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. The they have black Muhammad supremacy Elijah movement. Muhammad taught us the beauty and the love of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. 
We love him. We follow him. You don't follow him. We love him. We follow him. You don't follow him. And we follow the you one who came to us. Who? Because these Arabs. I'm not Arab, by the way. I'm not Arab. I'm not Arab. These Pakistanis. I'm not Pakistani either. I'm not Pakistani. They, they I'm not Pakistani either. They never came to us. Next, uh, try again. They never came to try us. Try again. They would sell us pork. They would Arab sell pork. us alcohol in their <laughs> off license <laughs> because they're hypocrites. But the one who's stereotyping me is Elijah Muhammad. And so we love Elijah, we follow Elijah, yes. but Elijah yes. taught us Elijah about a, the prophet. Elijah's a kafir. And the He's one a who came He's a and woke Elijah up, he gave him 103 books. And every single one of those books had something of the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in it. Because Elijah had to study the prophet. He didn't learn anything. Yes, sir. Can a Pakistani um, man...